Think about it. Right on the beach, ocean breezes, blue skies, seagulls, all yours for the taking. It's a timeshare. Well, it's called a timeshare. But the truth is, for the two weeks you're at the condo, you're not sharing anything. You're not sharing the bathroom. You're not sharing the toaster. Nothing. Nada. Zip. You are the mistress of all you survey. <laughs> My nephew looked up the neighborhood on the computer. Your nephew? Mrs. Darby. He said the condo was in a bad neighborhood. You're right. You're right. The condo is in a rather poor, majority black neighborhood. And you know what? I'm glad you brought it up. Seriously. Otherwise, I might have done something that I'd be ashamed of later. And that would be to sell you that timeshare. You would not feel safe there. No, I wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. How could you? Now, we all know, and I say this at the risk of sounding a little racist, black dudes love white women. Love them. Now, I don't know if it's genetic or if it's society. I mean, we can argue nature versus nurture all day, but it's a scientific fact that black men can't get enough of white women. And don't think that a woman of your age would be safe from their advances. No ma'am. These big black bucks don't care whether you're young or old, skinny or fat, walking or with two wrinkled stumps right below the knees. They want your white flesh. They want it bad. Truth be told, I'm part black myself. And if it wasn't for my wife, I'd be bending you over the desk doing your doggy style right now. That's right. I can just imagine you there, all alone in that big condo. A wash in a sea of Negro cock. I'll, I'll take it. Smart move. Just sign your Jane Hancock right here on the dotted line. You can't go in there. <laughs> here you go. Stand men. I'll be with you gentlemen in a second. Go on, sign it. Stand men. You're under arrest for fraud. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. It's just a little mix. Go on, sign it. Sign it, you white Jezebel. I'll call him out. You guys are going to regret this. Call my friend. Madam Foreman, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Yeah, please hand it to the bailiff. Will the defendant please rise? Madam Foreman, how do you find the defendant? We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. What? Thank you, Madam Foreman. That bitch! Uh, oh, Stanley, please, quiet, quiet. Sentencing will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. What the fuck just happened in there? You lost, Stanley. I didn't lose. You're the lawyer. You lost. I'm truly sorry. Damn it, man. I'm rich. I wanted some of that OJ justice. Maybe the judge will give you probation. No. In this state, first degree fraud carries a mandatory minimum of three to five years. I got it. We bribed the judge. I'm not gonna bribe the judge. Bribe him. I'm not gonna bribe him. Bribe him? Oh, please. Well, I'm not gonna bribe him. Bribe him! No, no, bribe no, him. no, no! I told you, I don't practice that kind of law, and I never will. You wanna bribe the judge? You be my guest. I'm sure any shyster on the street will be happy to do it for you. Mal? You're fired. Mr. Popper, is your client ready for sentencing? He is, Your Honor. Do you have anything you'd like to say before the court passes sentence? Your Honor, my client has been convicted of fraud in the first degree, a crime of which he is innocent. But even if he were guilty and his customers were defrauded, isn't it better that Mr. Minton, as a resident of Los Angeles, received the money, thereby keeping it in the community? 
as opposed to some gypsies or traveling Mexicans who would have taken the money out of the community. Please take that into consideration. Yeah, Mr. Minton, you are hereby sentenced to serve a term of no less than three years at the Verlaine State Correctional Facility. Now, normally your sentence would begin immediately. However, I'm going to delay your incarceration for six months so that you may reorganize the charity that you have established to teach music to retarded children. Thank you, John. Yeah, court is adjourned. Teach music to retarded children? That sounded good at the time. I thought you were gonna bribe them. I did. Hundred grand in cougar end doesn't go too far nowadays. Do we win? No. I don't get it. We bribe the judge and I still get a three-year sentence? That was mandatory. The judge couldn't fix that. Now you got six months to set your affairs in order. My affairs aren't already in order. My legal opinion is that you take a Brazilian vacation permanently. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I can't do that. Those Krugrands were the last liquid asset I had. The rest of my money's frozen in the bank. I'm not gonna run away and leave seven million dollars behind? Well, Stan, my old man had a saying. You walk through a locker room, you're gonna see some dick. What's that supposed to mean? It means... You rip off enough people, eventually you're going to go to jail. Well, thanks. That's really comforting. Hey, I'm a crooked lawyer. I know I'm going to jail someday. You don't see me crying about it. <laughs> Stan, slow down. You're going to choke. I got to eat now. I hear that prison food is real crap. I'm real glad we have six months together before you have to go to, you know. Tell me about it. I could be in jail right now. That popper's one hell of a lawyer. I'm gonna be awfully lonely while you're gone. I know, sweetheart. But I think I get conjugal visits. I can probably stick it to you once a month or so. That's pretty good, huh? Oh, sure, that's great. But I was thinking, mm -hmm. maybe, we could do something now, so I wouldn't be so lonely later. Like what? Like, maybe we could make a baby. Mindy, are you crazy? No, I just... I'm only gonna be gone three years, five at the max. What are we gonna do with the kid when I get out? Give it up for adoption? That's just cruel. I thought maybe we could keep it. Mindy, how many times have we gone over this? You know, it's just selfish to bring a child into this world. A world full of suffering and hunger and war. It's just selfish. I know. You know, plus, my kid would totally cramp our lifestyle. We couldn't go on vacation when we wanted. they break stuff. they cry all the time. You'd get stretch marks. That's right. Stretch marks. Scary stuff, huh? I just let you walk all over me. Oh, Mindy, come on. Okay, Mindy, you can get a dog. After I leave. You're the stinks. Is good, but it'll have to do. Ready? It'll be 75 cents. Good deal. Keep change. Oh. <laughs> mm. Ah, we know that, honey. Do you got a problem? No, no, I... I was just wondering. 
You've been to prison, right? You do have a problem. No, I... I'm going to prison. But I've never been there before, and I was just thinking maybe you could give me some pointers. I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Just for talking. How much time did you get? Three to five. Where at? Verlaine. Verlaine? And that's fucked, Stan. Guards just don't give a damn. Let the cons beat the shit out of one another all day. How am I gonna do in there? I mean, if, if you saw me, would you beat the shit out of me? I'd probably rape you. You raped me? Yeah. So it's true, huh? A lot of guys turn gay in prison? I'm always gay. I only rape people in prison. You're gay? Yeah. This is a gay bar. Woo! Let's do this thing. Look, rape isn't an act of sex. Rape is an act of violence. And in prison society, it's all about violence. You're judged by how bad the other cons fear you. By raping a dude is the ultimate way of beating him down. It means you're one bad motherfucker. So, you rape people? Well, now, that's something I'm not real proud of. I don't condone the practice, to be honest, but I do do it some, just to keep up with the Joneses. You know what I mean. Little dude like you, be an easy mark. Oh, Jesus. I mean, isn't there anything I could do? You join a gang? Are you a racist? Not really. And that leaves out the Nazis. Got any mob connections? No. Wouldn't have to be Latino, would you? Uh, Looks like everybody's gonna rape you. Okay. Okay, I, I bet I can be a racist for three to five years. A real racist, hardcore. Well, good. Then you can join the Nazis. Excellent. Then you won't be raped by the other Nazis. Raped by Nazis? No way! Isn't there anything else I could do? Isn't there some way I can cultivate some kind of crazy outlaw image? You have to kill a dude. Without killing a dude? In your case, it'd be a real long shot, Stan. Wouldn't have to have any taps, would you? Tats? Ink. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't grow up with my mom, so I... When I was 18, I, I got a tattoo. Mommy. You might as well buy a welcome mat and strap it to your asshole. Say I'm open for business. <laughs> Stan? I'm gonna get raped. Stan, honey, you wanna wake up? It's two o'clock. Good morning, dear. Good afternoon, Stan. I got you some orange juice. It was all a bad dream. Just a horrible dream. What was your dream, baby? It was awful. I was gonna go to prison, and big men were gonna rape me. But here I am, safe in my bed. It was all a bad dream. But you are gonna be going to prison, right? Huh? You're going to prison in six months. No! Oh, honey, it's okay. A lot can happen in six months. What's gonna happen, Mindy? Is my anus gonna grow teeth? No, silly. You'll find a way. You always do. What'd you just say? You always find a way. That's right. I always do. My baby ready to eat breakfast? Mindy. Did I have a lot growing up? No, I did not. I had nothing growing up. I had a drunk father who was emotionally unavailable to me. I had a summer job at Dairy Queen. I had tomato soup for dinner. Nobody ever gave me anything. Truly, Mine was a hard scrabble existence. Yet look at me today. 
I own a palatial estate. I drive a Lamborghini. I have a summer house on the lake. A complete Bang & Olufsen home theater system. A beautiful wife. And whom do I have to thank for all this stuff? Me. Nobody else. Me. I am a winner. I set my mind to do something, and I do it. And so when I say to you that I will make myself unrapeable, I will be unrapeable! couple things in mind but first I got kind of a weird question do you have anything you could tattoo around my sphincter to make it less attractive Stanny come to bed not not now Mindy 19 25 you see a new definition my forearm I think I see a new vein I see a very sexy man you do well, I wonder what he's going to do next. Kick me, darling. Mindy, I'm going to go to prison in a few months. Not now, honey. And while I'm there, men are going to try to take advantage of me. I don't want to hear about this now. Man, this is important. Now I'm doing everything I can to make sure that doesn't happen. But if it does happen, and I do get violated... Stan! I want the first time to be by someone I love. Oh! Oh! Stan, I couldn't. Please, men, for me. Okay. Great. Concentrate, Stanley, concentrate. How can I concentrate when I'm bored? If you're bored, you may leave. Oh, come on, Cho. Master Cho. Master Cho. I mean, I've been coming in for a week, and I'm still doing this baby stuff. When am I going to learn to kick some ass? I'm a yellow belt. Nobody's afraid of a yellow belt. What, you think you're ready to move up in rank? Yeah, that's right. Huh. Fine. You'll have your chance. Hey, Seymour! All right. Seymour. You'll fight Seymour for honor of green belt. You want me to fight this little guy? Mm. All right. Fighting's dead. All right, Seymour. See what you got. Forget about your refund. Is that all you got?
that's some technique you got. You couldn't knock a shit out of a paper bag. Full of shit. Oh, and you could do better? Guess what? He's agreed to be my trainer. Really? Well, what's his name? The Master. How do you do? The Master. He's gonna live with us and train me. All I have to do is pay him when my bank accounts get unfrozen. Oh. <clears throat> the contract. Yeah, I'll go write it up right now. I'm so sorry, the master, but there's no smoking in the house. Yes, there is. I better heat up another lean cuisine. Honey, you've done it again. You heated it just perfect. So, the master, where are you from? Hell. Oh! What brought you to L.A.? A job? I travel where the wind takes me. Isn't he great? Well, how long have you been teaching the art of self-defense? Young lady, what I teach is not art. It is science. A careful amalgam of the most deadly parts of karate. Kung Fu, Wing Chun, Krav Maga, Muay Thai, Savat, and Filipino Kali, my favorite. Ooh, wow. I find weakness and turn it into strength. I find fat and turn it into muscle. I find blisters and turn them into canker sores. I find doubt, and I turn it into will. You can stop doing that now. Doing what? Your hand. Huh. I forgot it was there. I'm gonna take a shit. Enjoy yourself. Mm. Stan. Honey. Does he really have to live here? The master? He scares me. I know. He scares me, too. That's exactly why he's the perfect guy to teach me. But Stan... Look, do you want me to survive in prison? Of course I do. Well, then you won't argue with me about this. You'll see. He'll grow on you. Wake up. It's time to begin your training. But it's five in the morning. Mm. Is that liver? It's your breakfast. And every moment you delay, I squeeze out more of its vital juices. Trust me, you'll need them later. Okay, I'm up. But are you ready? Look what I found beside your bed. This is weakness. This is defeatism. Actually, we were kind of enjoying that. Eat this. And follow me. Blended all that gross stuff you wanted. I got it all in Koreatown. I didn't even know there was a Koreatown. Too many eggs. 
Fish oil is nice. Ox pancreas is good. Next time, use more tongue. That's what she said. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Stan! All right. Get away from him, woman. I'm okay. Rise and drink your lunch. Don't ever get to eat anything that tastes good. You like hot dogs? Yeah, sure. But if you don't drink that, the boys in prison will feed you many hot dogs. I can kick your ass so fast you wouldn't even feel it. I'd like to see that. You didn't kick me in the ass. I didn't feel anything. Okay, I'm gonna call a time out here. You're Ow. beating my husband with a flaming stick. Isn't there some kind of role-playing exercise you could do instead? Run along, honey. This is man stuff here. Go ahead, master. Ow! 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 No disrespect. I realize this is strengthening my nipples, and believe me, I can feel the burn. I was wondering just how important are strong nipples. Someday these nipples uh, may save your life. Uh, you are what you eat. Um, are you sure that's Eastern mysticism? Because I learned that in health class in third grade. Silence, woman. I mean, all that stuff about pain and illusion, that sounds totally mystical. But you are what you eat, even I know that. And I am from Omaha. What part of Omaha? Dundee. Happy Hall. You're a Husker? I should have known. Those womanly, childbearing hips could not be a product of this. Perfidious coaxed. Uh, do you mind? I'm trying to eat scorpion here. Insolent fool. <coughs> you have lost the right to eat scorpion. Great. There goes my lunch. Thanks a lot, honey. Stan, this is not working out. The master says... The master is a jerk. Shh. And the house smells. I mean, does he have to smoke in every room of the house? And the only time I see you alone is in bed, and you're always too tired to... Hey, I got five months, and then it's prison. I gotta stay focused. I gotta think prison, eat prison, breathe prison. I don't have time for anything else. Not even time for me? <sighs> Tell you what. After I'm done working out with the master, I'll rent some movies, and we'll cuddle around the TV like old times, okay? Really? Bindi! Some men broke into the house! They say they want to rape you! What? Big men! They want to rape you! Repeatedly! But the master! They have guns! They killed him! There's nothing we can do! You're gonna get raped! Raped! Oh my god! Raped! Now you know how I feel. What? Fear of rape. That's what I'm gonna have to live with for three years. Nobody broke into the house. That's right. But I think now maybe you'll be a little more supportive of what I'm going through. You son of a bitch! Okay, you're upset. You son of a bitch! Okay, you don't have to call you names. Son of a oh, hey, bitch. Mindy! Bitch! Mindy. Bitch! Okay, bitch! Bitch! bitch. Bastard! Mindy! Mindy! Oh! Mindy! Mindy, 
what are you doing? Because it looks like I'm here. I'm leaving you. Oh, oh, why? Why? Because I pulled one little prank, which I'm sure when you calm down, you realize... It's not perfect. just one little prank. It's everything. All you think about is yourself. You're the most selfish man who ever lived, ever. Ever. Whoa. Excuse me? Selfish? I find that funny. I really do. Because I've given you everything you've ever wanted. You're crazy. I gave you this house. It's in your name. I gave you those boobs. You wanted these. When you said the Lamborghini was too small, I got a second car. You bought a 1955 four speedster. It has a back seat. Ugh. Mindy, what do you want? I'll do anything. I want a baby, you asshole. That again? Fine. Okay, you win. We'll have a baby. Really? No, not really, but maybe we can visit people who have kids. Oh! Goodbye! Good, leave! I don't need you! I don't need anybody! Oh, God! Uh, one moment. I'm meditating. Mindy left. good, close, and from a distance. Well, then you are up to your eyeballs and shit. Hey, what are those? A little something I picked up at the Shaolin Temple. What are you using for? Oh! 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 Ah! Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, that's close enough. <laughs> Never celebrate too early. I remember that. Mississippi 5, Mississippi 6, Mississippi 7, Mississippi 8, Mississippi 9. <laughs> My God, that is amazing. Oh, that's nothing. You should see him. It's easy for me. Cigarettes have ruined my circulation so much I can't even feel my hands anymore. So that's your trick. Mm -hmm. Here's to Stan Mint, my second finest. Second finest? Who's number one? I hope you never have to find that out. He used what I taught him not for his own protection, but for evil. Well, fuck that guy. Here's the number two. Now drink up. Stan has one final test tonight. Go for it. Hello, Cho. It's Master Cho to you. Master Cho or Master Bader Cho? Excuse me? You heard me, punk. Looking for a beat down, mister? And what are you looking for? To beat off? That's it. walking me in my car. All right. <laughs> I don't feel too comfortable here. I don't think the Asian people like me. What you want, nigga? Uh -huh. You want to fuck with us? Then what? I'm there tonight. Hey, you dead tonight. Uh, you just go up those steps, turn yourself in for processing. Uh, by the way, slight change of plans. The Bureau of Prisons called me yesterday. They're sending you to Oaksburg, not Verlaine. Why? Eh, who knows? You know, bureaucracy. It makes no difference. Go on. You'll do great. Yeah? Yeah. Did Mindy or her lawyer call about the divorce? Not like I care anyway. All right. See you guys in three years. What do you think? I think you should walk away quickly. I need a beer. Hey, sweetie. 
did you hear the name? Talk to me again, I'll twist the whole damn titty off. Hey man, I'm scared too, but it can't be as bad as they say it is. It's just as bad as they say it is. The sooner your kids realize that, the better. Tell them. You'll find out. Soon enough. What'd I say about talking to me? Damn, man. Welcome to Oaksburg Penitentiary. For reasons beyond what I care to imagine, you gentlemen have found yourselves under my stewardship. My name is Warden Francis Gasqui, but you can just call me boss. We only got one rule here at Oaksburg. Don't fuck with the boss. That means you leave me and my men alone. What you animals do to each other, that's your business. Now, right behind you is the warden's garden. Anybody caught pissing on that? We'll have his penis removed. Sergeant Bullard here will lead you to the medical office where you will strip and have your cavity search. You're going to enjoy that. Now, gentlemen, single file. Come on, get up there. Pecker the butthole. All right, assume the position. Ah! Guys, why are you screaming like a goddamn little girl? Sarge, look, sweet Jesus. It's like an alien staring into my soul. Welcome home. New luxury condos, compliments of the state. Step it up, boys. Hello there, young fella. Oh, I guess we're cellmates. My name's Larry. But you can call me Shorts. Shorts? You're in my bunk. What? That's my bunk. Get out. Oh, you, you hold on there just a second. This is my bunk. What gives you the right to do... Ow! I said that's my bunk. Yeah. I guess it is. Whew. Uh, you, you might want to change the sheets. I'm kind of a compulsive masturbator. Shorts, that's your bunk. Really? Absolutely. Thanks, buddy. I think we're going to get along just fine. Hey, put her here. I don't shake hands. Well, whatever. Ah, good to be back. Tell me, Shorts, who's the toughest guy here? Who's the biggest badass on the cell block? Biggest badass, biggest badass. Well, there's a lot of contenders. There's Cleon. He's leader of the Diamond Kings. That's the black cat. I see him kill a man with his fist. Right, what? <laughs> yeah. And there's Juanito. He's head of the Mexican gang. La hey, hey, get back. Hey! Hey, whatever you do, don't go near those guys. It's to express ourselves and to extinguish... They're Scientologists. They don't look so tough. Yeah. They'll talk your ear off and then sue your ass. Then, there's the Nazis. None of them are too tough. But they don't fight fair and they don't fight alone. They always gang up on you. Their leader, Patterson, he's a real bastard. His uncle's the head of the Aryan nation. Let me clarify my question, Shorts. 
Who's the most dangerous sexual predator on the cell block? Oh, that's easy. It's Big Raymond. Absolutely <laughs> insatiable. Crazy. The other black guys don't go near him, but they'd back him up if he came to a fight. Big Raymond it is. Can I borrow that? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hey, Stan. Stan, where are you going? You think that cigarette was free? Is that what you think? I'll pay you back, man. I just don't have any money. You think I want money? Excuse me. Bug off, bitch. I'll get to you later. Did you just call me bitch? Yeah, I said it. Hey, everybody. Did you hear that? Big Raymond, for no reason, just called me bitch. Now, was that nice? It's not like I called him fat. It's not like I said I seen pig shit prettier than he is. It's not like I said his mother's pussy smells like egg salad. Which it does. Bitch now, bitch. Oh, 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 my cracker. Laying the boot to the big nigga, give it up. Don't use that word around me. It's ugly and racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen here, player, all right? We want you to join up with us, you know what I mean? Because some niggas are going to tear you. Oh! Oh. I said don't talk that way around me. Get, Get some of that. Let's kill it. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Come on, Handle your business, Cleon. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're going to stick up for that fat son of a bitch. You happen to see the color of that fat son of a bitch's skin? Hey, aren't we over that? Didn't you see that Nova episode? Huh, you guys? They did that DNA test. We all come from Africa. It's a proven fact. Under the skin, I'm just as black as you are. Oh, fuck that. Get him! Get him, man! Get him! Get him! Get him!
Cleon, if you want to fight me, you're going to have to fight me. I understand. Now pick up your gold teeth. I'm going to let you keep them this time. But if you come at me again, I'm going to hang on to them like a Swiss banker. Y'all ain't gonna help me. I I'm missing him by cuspid. We should have killed him. <laughs> Somebody call an orthodontist. <laughs> I see Mr. Minton is acquainting himself with his new surroundings. I believe it's time I had my little chat with him. That's good. I don't know what everybody's complaining about. Are you kidding me? Hey, man. I just want to say thanks. For what? You know, for helping me before? With Big Raymond? I wasn't helping you. I was helping me. I had to beat up the biggest shithead on the cell block, and he just happened to be talking to you. Okay. But, you know, I... I mean, I, I think that guy wanted to fuck me. Trust me, in your case, I was just putting off the inevitable. Yeah. Well, thanks anyway. What's your name, girl? Don't be shy, just say hi. Come here, kick back, baby girl. <laughs> a little hard on the kid, weren't you? Hey, that's got nothing to do with me. And I'm gonna keep it that way. You got that? One, one, five. Warden wants to see you. Get up. Me? Now, walk! Put your hands behind your back. Come in. Minton, I'm glad you could make it. You can take the cuffs off him. You sure you want to do that, boss? I said take them off. It's all right. I already got them. It's a matter of dislocating the wrists. Ooh! Ooh, that is creepy. You can wait outside. Have a seat. Warden, if this is about me fighting in the yard, it will. Cigar. Thank you. Randy? Sure. You know, you warden should complain. Because in the movies, they always make you look like real assholes. <laughs> well... I don't plan on being a warden forever. Is that right? Tell me, Minton, what do you think of this place? It's okay for a prison. Not the prison, the land. 
It's a nice size property. Great views of the foothills in the city. Level grade. I'm assuming there's bedrock beneath us. Easy access to downtown. I see some nice development potential. Too bad you got a prison on it. Exactly. You know it's no accident you came to Oaksburg. I pulled a few strings to get you here. What made you want to do that? Come here. Oaksburg Estates. I'm a silent partner, so to speak, with some private investors who would like to develop this land into timeshare condominiums. I believe that's your field of expertise. True. Of course, all this is only possible in the event the prison ever closes down. Makes sense. You know, I'm in the prison business. I know how to break a man's will, crush his spirit, but them real estate contracts, those things put a real hurt on you. That's where you come in. What's in it for me? How would you like to be out of here in a year? But I've got a mandatory minimum. Wardens have a great deal of discretion getting early parole, especially to nonviolent first-time offenders. Prisons are crowded, you know. The system is corrupt. Me likey. But you gotta move the luxury units closer to the lagoon. That'll double the rents. Plus, this parking needs to go underground. You're wasting space. That's eight extra units. Whoever designed this is a moron. But how are you gonna get rid of the prison? Let me worry about that. Tell me more about them parking spaces. You stripped? He ain't gonna know who hit him, not me. That's gonna scar you, psycho. Ship, don't you? You made that with a melted toothbrush and a razor blade? That's very creative. <laughs> Look what I made with three bars of soap and a shoelace. <laughs> Cracker, please. <laughs> Patterson. I just roughed him up a little bit. Why? Somebody took a shiv to his ass. They say he'll be shitting sideways for a month. <laughs> now I know what Schadenfreude feels like. What? Schadenfreude. It's German for when you feel good because your enemy's anus has been violated. Ooh. You know, you're getting that on me. Terrific. 
Hey, hey, listen, pal. I, I, I need your help. I can't get many lawyers here in my call, so if we want to go through with this divorce, you're going to have to contact her personally. Dan. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Hey, how's your appeal coming? <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm looking at the Madam Foreman right now. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I, 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 gotta, I gotta go now, uh, you know, duty call. All right, thanks, Lou. I'll talk to you soon. Aren't you Charlize Theron? Oh, look, it fell out there. <laughs> so I had him exchange the beef with the horse meat. Clever. <laughs> That's Stan. Minton, I'd like for you to meet Mr. Dang. He's on the prison's board of governors. They let Vietnamese mafia on the prison board of governors? Your finger tats. <laughs> like you say, Stan, the system is corrupt. Mr. Dang's family happens to be my partners in Oaksburg Estates. Oh, good, because I was just going over the contracts, and the language gets rather vague on the subject of gross versus net liability. You know, I'm sure it's unintentional, but, Warden, that could screw you in the long run. Could it? I'll have my lawyers collect that immediately. You know what? I got an excellent lawyer for that. He specializes in it, Lou Popper. Popper? I'll be sure to contact him. <laughs> Come on, Dang, let's check out the floor show. It looks like the savages are ready for the inspection. Well, give me a few more weeks. I'll even have them readier. I'm counting on that. Would you like a strawberry? I grew them in my own garden. Thank you. Minton? Strawberry? No, I'm good. Maybe I picked him a little too soon. I don't think that's it. Now, people are scared shitless of me. Very good, Stan. Is there anyone there who could challenge you? Nah. I got it all under control. What's the matter, Stan? You sound distant. I don't know. It's just... Don't you ever find yourself feeling sorry for anybody? Might as well ask me if I feel sorry for the maggots I grind into my morning coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel, too. Listen, I gotta go. Make me proud, Stan. Come on, baby. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Do it to me, do it to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, are you just using me? No, no I'm not using, using you. Me? No, no, do you no. love me? Yeah. Oh, oh, show yeah. me, show me, show me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Do you love me? Yeah. Hello, hey, yeah. Hi, it's you, Dean. Excuse me, Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, hi, Stan. Yeah. I, I, I think, I think I have two good news for you. Yeah. I think the, I think the, the Madam Foreman just one orgasm away from giving you your appeal. That's great, Lou. And gross. <laughs> have you heard anything from Mindy or her attorney? Uh, no. But, but, but don't say I don't earn my money. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Uh, I don't believe I ordered Chinese. I guess I could go for a little pot sticker. Who are you writing to? No one special. You've been sitting there for a while, writing to no one special. You know, Stan, I've been here for a long time, and I can handle a lot of things, like having to spend the rest of my life in this shithole. But there's one thing I do regret. I could never make it work with Mayushi. Oh, she was the only person who ever loved me for me. How did you pick at it to realize it? 
give it anything to change the way I behaved. How did you behave? I killed her. Uh, alcohol wasn't something that always brought out the best in me, Stan. now that you were right. I was pig-headed and selfish. And leaving me was probably the best thing for you. And I'm truly sorry. I never should have hurt you. I know now why you wanted to have a baby with me. It's just another way for us to love each other even more deeply. I hope someday you'll be able to forgive me. Love always. Stan. Now, I know all of you want to get back to your weightlifting and your basketball and your masturbating, so I'm going to try to keep this short, all right? Yeah. I am throwing away all of these violent video games and movies. No, 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 don't do that. No, no, come on, From now on, I want you guys watching more wholesome entertainment. And frankly, a lot of the rap music you brothers listen to is way too hateful towards women. I mean, what is up with that? You like women, right? Yeah. Now, on the other hand, I think the Mexicans are onto something with this mariachi and salsa music. It's positive, easy to dance to, and you never get tired of it. Shorts, give us a taste. Here we go. Me gusta ir por los caminos. Afro-Cuban. I asked for mariachi, but you get the point, yeah. all right? Yeah. Now, lastly, and most importantly, from now on, there will be no more rape at this prison. Oh. That's right. Anyone who rapes another inmate will have to answer to me. And I will not be kind. Excuse me, Big Stan. Yes, Juanito. Why are you putting your nose where it don't belong? My men are aggressive and hard. Sometimes they need a way to work off that excess energy. So what's it to you? Okay, well, first off, good question. Thank you. What is it to me? Well, frankly, I just don't like it. And let me show you why. Robbie, come up here. Yeah, you, Robbie the hippie. Come on up here. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Robbie, how long is your sentence here at Oaksburg Penitentiary? Five to ten. Five to ten years. And what exactly did you do to earn that sentence? I sold marijuana. <laughs> A shitload of marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. Go sit down. He sold marijuana. He was a marijuana dealer. Now, I'm not here to argue about our nation's drug policy. Personally, I don't think they're tough enough. <laughs> Whatever. But just because Robbie was guilty of selling dope doesn't mean that he deserves to get raped up the ass every day for the next 10 years. I just don't think that's fair. Now, some of you are here because you're habitual drunk drivers. Some of you have a fondness for the crack cocaine. Some of you robbed a bank. I'm talking to you, Leotis. <laughs> But that doesn't mean you should get raped. It's just not fair. 
Yes, Carnahan. What about the guys that were convicted of rape? Can we rape them? Yeah. 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 That's hmm. right. Rape the rapists. Seems appropriate. Punishment fitting the crime and all. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. How about them child molesters? Yeah. 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 yeah, them too. Good point. Anyone else? Yeah. Yo, Big Stan. What about the counterfeiters? Counterfeiters? Big Raymond, you're the only counterfeiter here. Yeah. Wait a minute. Do you just want somebody to... <laughs> okay, here's another thing we gotta clear up. There's a tremendous difference between homosexual sex and rape. Now, Big Raymond, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's someone here who wants to have sex with you. Not me. Okay? How about it, anyone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler. Great. <laughs> you like cake salad? You two have fun. But wear protection. <laughs> All right, throw one. Now, those two are about to have consensual homosexual sex. A beautiful, beautiful thing. The total opposite of rape, which is not allowed. Except for the rapists and child molesters, right? We can still rape them. Yeah. No, you can't. What? What? Well, I changed my mind. I think it's a bad habit. We got to quit cold turkey. Bullshit. Hey, if you're not happy with it, you're welcome to fight me. I didn't think so. All right, you're dismissed. Beat it. Good speech. You think? I feel like I should open with a joke or something. No, it was good. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry about the mariachi screw up. Yeah, let it go. Hey, Big Stan. Check out the lovebirds. Oh, yeah. for them. I have something important to show you. Let me eat, will you? Hey, Big Stan. Can we talk? Make it quick. I want to thank you for what you did out there. I didn't do anything. Don't say you didn't do it for me. Because you did. Didn't you? A little. Well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, man. Say, Julio! Get back here! What's up with you? What's up? Get back here! Shut up! Hey, Big Stan. I like what you said. I want to join your gang. I don't have a gang. Yes, you do. Okay, you're in. <clears throat> Me too? Yeah, you too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right, can I eat now? Yes, you did. He's gotta eat. Come on. He's gotta eat. Right. I told you I had something important to show you. She wants to see me.
noche en una juerga. Chogui de Baleabu. Esa negra me baleaba. Es el ritmo tropical. La otra noche en una juerga. Chogui de Baleabu una negra. Esa negra me baleaba. Es el ritmo tropical. Ay, Baleabu. Excuse me, man. No, that's my bad. No, really, it was my fault. Hey, it's a pickle game of who play. If you want to play? I like that. Any further, there's three little words I need to hear. I was wrong. Good boy. It looks like a nursery school picnic out there. It's Minton. What do you mean it's Minton? Well, first he banned rape. Now it's gotten to the point that anybody gets beat up, they just run and go join Minton's gang, and Minton he beats up the bad guy. Tell you the truth, he's got them too scared to even look at each other funny. We ain't had a fight in three days. Well, I thought I saw Engelberg fighting that big Mexican yesterday. Uh, hey, who's? No, no, that was that was more in the nature of a lover's quarrel. Uh, Engelberg forgot their two-week anniversary. Well, that wasn't very nice of him, was it? Well, they made up. You should have seen the cake Engelberg made up. It was special. It... You get out of here right now and get mitten up here. You understand me? I mean right now. Now hurry! I'm not just saying this, but I think that was the most amazing sex we've ever had. <laughs> I guess being away from me this long made you crazy. Huh? Well, yes, I guess. The master's really opened my eyes sexually. He showed me all these different positions in the Kama Sutra. The master? You've been seeing him? Yeah, he's staying at the house. I've learned all sorts of things about massage and strengthening my Kegel. That sleazy son of a bitch! Men, time's but Stan, up. Stan, I... Warden wants to see you. Now! Tell him to wait. I don't want you to see him anymore, you understand? You tell Master Dickface I'm gonna get out of here soon and I'm gonna kick his ass. Actually, don't tell him. You're not allowed to see him anymore. Said you now, hear me? Convict. Men! You're not allowed to see him anymore. I love you, sweetie cakes. Let's go. God, sucker! I'll bet you didn't know I was part psychic. That's right. I'm able to see into the future. I didn't realize. Well, let me tell you what's going to happen one week from today. The Board of Governors is going to come to inspect the prison. Then something awful happens. Some prisoners find a way to smuggle weapons into the yard, and a full-scale riot breaks out. And as the prison board watches in absolute horror, my men are forced to shoot into the yard in order to end the melee. In the ensuing scandal, the board chooses to 
sell the property to a Vietnamese family based in San Pedro. And everybody lives happily ever after. Especially me. Now, if the events that I foretold do not come to fruition, I will be very disappointed. And when I get disappointed, Mr. Dang over there likes to stomp on men's spines like they was bubble wrapped. I spent 35 years of my life in this stinking cesspool, and I will not walk away without something to show for it. Your little prison reform ends right now. You play ball, you might get yourself a parole hearing. How many will get killed? Who cares? They're all animals. Bullard! Escort Mr. Minton back to his cell. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Stan, you ever have two Asian men pulling your balls right after you had sex with a questionably attractive older woman? No, I can't say that I have, Lou. Madam Foreman won't return any of my calls. You better go for that deal the warden offered you. So, so there's nothing else I can do? I'm sorry, pal. You know, it, it's over. You're in real danger. Get yourself out of there as soon as you can. Tell the warden I'll take his deal. I want out of here. Hey, Stan, the Nazis were saying the Virgin Mary tortillas is a fake. That's not cool, Alonso. Hey, the Nazis were saying the Virgin Mary has no power. That Constantine was only pacifying the Byzantine priest by giving him a goddess to pray to. I think they've been watching the History Channel or something. What? What are you going to do about it, Big Stan? I'm not going to do anything about it. What's up with him, man? Hey, Stan. Stan. The Brazilians, they, they won't stop calling for Reeb and Arab. I'm not an Arab. I'm Persian. What do I care? You look like an Arab. Hey, listen up. All of you. You're all on your own. You hear me? I don't care what any of you do to each other. Hey, you guys in the interracial book club. You guys all hate each other. So stop pretending you don't. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> yes. Big Stan? We need to talk.
thought you cared about us. Well, I don't. Hey, little cracker. Why don't you sit over here, my little white brother? Tattoos on your forehead, huh? Come on, eat up. I was wrong about you. We all were. Stay out of the yard tomorrow. You hear me? D Block House is some of our most hardened offenders. But here, we have Oaksburg's greatest rehabilitation story, Stan Minton. Stan, I'd like for you to meet the Board of Governors. Not going in the yard today, Stan? I don't feel well, Warden. Maybe this will make you feel better. Due to Stan's exemplary behavior, the parole board has agreed to meet with him today. Well, we better be moving along. Shit goes down at 12.30. At 12.35, I'm in the real estate business. I'll deal with you in a minute. Everything okay? Both of you. Next up is prisoner 5824. In the matter of Stanley Minton, you have your files. In his short time here, prisoner Minton has accrued an exemplary record. And let it be noted, he's a first time nonviolent offender. Before we vote, Mr. Mitten, is there anything you'd like to add? I'd just like to say, um, <clears throat> I've really learned a lot, and I'm ready to get back to work. Good. We'd like to hear that. Here's the yard where the prisoners come to exercise. That's where Charlie the Fly tried to fly over the wall. <laughs> well, in light of Warden Gasquie's recommendation, I think we have a pretty clear-cut case for parole. Mr. Minton, how would you feel about getting out of here today? Mr. Minton. Did I mention I'm in real estate? <laughs> I got my eye on some property real close by here. I can't wait to develop. Oh, that's commendable. You know, while I was in here also, I, uh, I joined a biker gang. Satan's pedophiles. Anyway, they said when they get out, they love to camp right next to the grammar school near here. I hope that's not a problem. They're, they're pretty cool guys, except when they drink and do crystal meth, <laughs> which is almost every weekend. But most of the people I sell to, they don't need to know about any of that. Because uh, they're old ladies, mostly. <laughs> Not too good with the fine print if you get my drift. <laughs> Tell me, is your grandmother still alive? Because I bet I can make her a sweet deal. By the time I'm through with her, she'll have to give hand jobs behind the pharmacy to pay for arthritis medication. <laughs> Two at a time, you know? Stuff you see in pornos. Anyway, that's a nice top you have on, seriously. 
You mind lowering it a little bit? I'd love to see some boobage. Oh, let me see that one. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, let me see that. Oh, just let me touch one of them. Just let me touch one of them. Can I? Please? Parole denied! Take him back to his cell. What color are your nipples? I, I bet they're pink. Are they light brown? Or are they dollar size or quarter? Oh, Stan, did we win? Let go of me. I'm in a hurry. Have no fear, Stanley. I will continue to take care of your wife while you're gone. Thanks a lot, pal. No thanks needed. I cherish Mindy's company. Since my addiction to cigarettes made me impotent, I've had very little contact with the fair sex. Impotent? I used to think smoking was cool, but a limp dick spells nerd in any language. You're impotent. That's great. Not really. Baby, I love you. I'll write to you as soon as I can. Okay. 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 Oh! <coughs> That's my boy. Love you, baby. Damn, he's running. Go back. Here he comes. Just watch the business file. you well. Don't tell me. You study with the master too? I am. It's number one. <sighs> I didn't see that coming. There are many things you will not see coming. Oh, really? Like what? <laughs> the igloo. Do 
anything to stop this? Bullet, prepare to fire. witnesses it's over warden you did this to me doing with the master for the last six months oh thank god you did good with dang but you're still my number two student number two she'll kick your ass i might like that ready position focus block punch yeah. kick Go. double punch yeah. ready position Block, punch, kick, double punch. It's time, man. Just a minute, Warden. Looks great, guys. Thanks, Robbie. Okay, everybody. I gotta go now. I'll miss you, too. Now, I want you guys to be especially nice to our newest inmate and best disbarred lawyer in the world, Lou Popper. I is the ban on rape still in effect? I'm pretty sure. Hey, permission to give Big Stan a group hug. Permission granted. Come on, gang! Oh, don't touch me! Don't, don't touch me! Hey, 
little homie. Thanks for giving me my teeth back. My pleasure. Gracias por todo, me enseñaste mucho. Con todo respeto, igualmente. Where you going, Cracker? Going home, man. I think Big Stan's staying here. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. I'm Big Stan, no more rain. <laughs> oh, man. very creepy. Gee, my Cracker. You good, huh? Hi, right, Stan. <laughs> Big man. Bye. Big stand. Say bye. Sweetie. Hey, handsome. Hey, where's Minnie Jr.? She's in the car. She's being kind of a brat. Yeah? Isn't the nanny helping at all? Yeah. I think he's still sneaking cigarettes. Yeah? I'll talk to him. <laughs> Hi, Precious. Hi, the master. Hello to your father, child. Hi. Hey, uh, rumor is you're sneaking smokes. Hey, how's her technique? She stinks. But so do you at first. You sure? I don't remember that. Stan! Okay, baby. Let's go, sweetie! <laughs>
Bye. 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 Bye.